an amusement park at Los Angeles. Every imaginable type of ride is going full tilt, creating for the customers the realistic and somehow pleasurable illusion that they're in an airplane that's out of control. As a matter of fact, many of these rides were made by an airplane manufacturer, or at least a former airplane manufacturer. The Salem, Oregon firm still bears the name of Ierly Aircraft, even though it gave up planes for devices like these more than a quarter of a century ago. This ride is called the Midjo Racer. It lets young passengers do a certain amount of steering as they go round and round. Not enough, though, to get them into any trouble. Inspecting the rides after they're finished, particularly to make certain they're safe, is one of the biggest phases of production. Hour after hour, they put the rides through their paces before dismantling them again for shipment to a customer. Here, an unfinished car for a ride called the Rocco Plane is inspected. It's much like a Ferris wheel, but with added thrills. Extra thrills take a lot of engineering and a lot of trial and error experimentation with scale models, as in the case of a new ride called the Mad Tea Party. No, the idea isn't that people try to drink out of the cups, but that they ride in much larger versions of the same. And if that doesn't give them a thrill, well, at least it ought to make them a little queasy.